Hello, it's JJ D. Geronimo, the president of Advancing Women in STEM and Tech Savvy Women, and I'm here today with Jennifer Hernandez. She is the Elementary School Principal Leadership Award recipient from the International Association of STEM Leaders. Jennifer, we're thrilled to have you, and we're looking forward to hearing about what really makes your school a STEM school and what makes it unique. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm very excited to talk about my school, Marietta Center for Advanced Academics. We started our STEM initiative approximately eight years ago, and at that time, there was little known about elementary STEM education and what that might look like for students. The principal at the time and myself tapped two of our teacher leaders and asked them to begin researching elementary STEM and what it might look like in our environment. Our school serves students that are considered advanced and gifted learners, so we wanted to make sure that when we developed our STEM program, it matched the learning needs of the students that we served. Over the last eight years, we've developed a comprehensive program that focuses on creating a climate of STEM thinking. STEM permeates all of our classrooms through the engineering design process. Our students are afforded the opportunity to attend a one-hour STEM class every single day that focuses on solving real-world problems using the engineering design process. In addition to having daily STEM classes, our students are engaged in a one-to-one -one computing environment where they're offered laptop computers, and we just recently launched BYOT, Bring Your Own Technology. So students have the opportunity to bring their smartphones, iPads, and wow. other devices so they're connected to learning at all times. We've also developed several key things that are unique to our school. For example, a digital science fair project. Our students do not complete science fair the way we did when we were growing up. They actually import everything digitally on a tri board that we've had copyrighted uh, with our school's name on it. We're very proud of that. When families and when community members come and see our students' science fair projects, they're able to link to a digital device and hear our students' voices through voiceovers, as well as see photography and video images that they've captured in the midst of their science fair projects. We've also done one other unique thing, and that is capitalizing on community partnerships. We made an intense effort to reach out to specific partners in education to make sure that they would partner with us and enhance the educational opportunities for our students. For example, Lockheed Martin is a partner in education with us and they send engineers into the classroom to work directly with our students. We're also partners with the American Society of Civil Engineers and our students have the opportunity to interface with real working engineers to solve problems in their STEM classes. We also recently signed partnership with the United States Navy, which was very exciting because it gives our students the opportunity to see STEM in a different um, professional arena. And of course, we've also partnered with local universities, for example, Kennesaw State Universities and others, to make sure that our students are college and career ready. Wow, wow, Jennifer, that is amazing. and. You know, being the leader of that school, I'm sure it has taken quite a bit, not only for you, but also to foster the teamwork and get your teachers prepared to provide this portfolio of opportunity back to the students. Can you talk a little bit about how you manifest that? Absolutely. At my school, we see teachers as leaders. I invest um, in a collaboration environment with my teachers and make sure that we're working together to make decisions. Uh, we're traditionally what you would consider a smaller school setting with only 30 staff members. So oftentimes it's all 30 of us sitting around the table to make decisions that drive the instructional programming for our school. Another thing that I encourage with my staff is to make sure that they are pursuing uh, things that they're passionate about. And when they pursue things that they are passionate about, they're able to bring those ideas back to our school setting um, and make sure that they are successful. For example, we have a teacher that is very much into the environment and recycling, and she created an Enviro Design STEM class that 
that infuses mathematics as well as caring for the environment and recycling as students solve real world problems. I also have another teacher that is working on a collaboration with schools across the globe and making sure that we're giving back not only to our local community, to our, but also to our global community as well. Jennifer, this is so exciting because it really shows what the possibilities are with great leadership and people that feel like they're part of a solution and making a difference. So it's really great to hear your ideas and all the work that you've accomplished to date. I know you mentioned you started off as a STEM school and STEAM is quickly approaching in many uh, environments here. Are you evolving from STEM to STEAM? We did start our school with the STEM focused, but a little over a year ago, the staff got together and decided that we wanted to infuse the arts to make sure that we were capturing the learning styles of all of our students. We were able to hire a teacher with a graphic design background who has now become our integrated arts specialist, and she's working collaboratively with our teachers to develop an integrated STEAM curriculum specific to our students and school. That is super, and I love that you go out into the field and find very specific talents to really push things forward. So on that thread, what will a STEM certification program mean to you and your existing program? International STEM certification would be just wonderful for us. Our school is the first STEM certified school in the state of Georgia, uh, but we're definitely very interested in pursuing a global connection. Of course, it would provide wonderful exposure for our fabulous school, but in addition, and more importantly, it would provide us the opportunity to interface with educators and STEM leaders across the globe to make sure that we're not only providing the best environment for our students to learn, but also sharing great ideas so all students have exposure to a great STEM education. Jennifer, it has been so great to spend this time with you, and we are really excited to learn about what you're doing in Marietta, Georgia, and we look forward to watching where your school goes in the future. Thank you so much for spending this time with us.